Hey YouTube, what's going on? Tech King Mike back at the game with another video and we are continuing our coverage on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. Now this is the phantom white color. Now I just unboxed this phone, so if you missed that, make sure you go check out that video. I have it linked somewhere up here for you to go check out. But what we're gonna do today is we are going to install the Spigen Glaster Easy Fit tempered glass screen protector. Now, I always go with speaking screen protectors when it comes to my flat display phones, and that's just simply because, as you'll see as we go through this, with this screen protector, you're going to get a nice installation tray that's going to make installation so smooth and so easy when you're putting it on your phone. Now, for just for, you know, FYI, I still have the tab up here where I still have not taken the plastic off the phone, so that is how you know that I am really just trying to make sure I get this thing right on the first go round. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pop this open. So you just open it up here from the top. And sorry about my hands, folks. I'm doing a little bit of drawing and uh, got a little ink on my hands still. So sorry if you see my hands look a little dirty. Now, you're going to get in here a little package here. And this is going to have your lens and screen cleaning wipes. You get one each. You're also going to get a microfiber cleaning cloth. And you're also going to get a, I believe it should be in here, a card. There it is right there. Now, this is going to be your squeegee to help kind of, you know, get the air bubbles out of the case. Now, we're only going to need one. So we're going ahead and put that off to the side right here. And we're going ahead and put that back in the box. And once again, that's going to be it. So like I said, you get two in the box. So we'll put this other one back inside to make sure that we keep it nice and protected. You also do, just for measure, get a few other little advertisements in the box for the gallium nitride chargers. And you also get your instructions here. Now, as you can see on the instructions, it's very simple. You clean it off, you peel off the back film, put the tempered glass insulation tray, press and slide up the middle, Peel the sticker, pull the tray off, pull the protection film, and squeegee. Very simple. So let's go ahead and get to it then. So we'll put everything here back in the box that we don't need. And now forgive me, guys, I am doing this behind the camera. So hopefully it doesn't look too bad. But let's go on ahead and open this up here. And let's get our wipes out that we're going to need to install the screen protector properly. So like I said, we only really need the one, but we'll go ahead and pull both out just for good measure. So this is going to be your microfiber cleaning cloth. And this is also going to just be, you know, how to remove bubbles and just telling you exactly what to do with the squeegee. We don't really need that, so we'll put that to the side. And these are your dust stickers. So we will need dust stickers to make sure that we get all the dust off the phone. Now, like I said, I am doing this in a dusty environment, but there are a few hacks that you can do to make it a little bit easier. One of those being that you can go in your bathroom cut on your shower and get it nice and hot the steam from the shower should help to reduce the amount of dust in the room and then it will be a lot easier for you to install your screen protectors that's a kind of a you know convoluted method <laughs> a little bit of a difficult way to go but if you want to do it the way that i'm doing it what i like to do is i pretty much like to get myself set up with some extra wipes so what i have here are some extra wipes that i get from walmart these are zeiss lens wipes but i use them for screens as well on my devices and i also like to keep a can of air around so again this is also from walmart as well shout out to the walmart can there and that's pretty much how i like to get down when it comes to putting them on so now let's go on ahead and let's do the first step which is to peel this off so now that we've peeled that off as you can see there's a little bit of dust down there at the bottom so that was inevitable we knew we were going to get some dust on it you know it's not no device is perfect so we knew that that was going to happen but following the instructions what we're going to do we're going to use one of their wipes first because the difference between these and the Zeiss wipes, this is off topic, but the Zeiss wipes are a little bit more uh, non-alcohol based in a way. These are a little bit more like they're meant to clean and they're really meant to like get the dirt and grime off of you, whereas those are just kind of meant to be like a little quick wipe down. But with this one, we're going to go ahead and just get that nice and clean, get that screen nice and wiped down, give it a really good wipe down. You don't want to leave any stone unturned because... You only get one shot at this. Two, it says you got two in the pack, but really only get one. You only you want to make it count. So as you can see, our screen is pretty good. Now looking at it from behind the camera, there's not too many specks of dust on it. But just to be safe, what I like to do is I'll follow up here with my microfiber cleaning cloth. So I will follow up with this bad boy right here. And I'll just use it to just kind of dry out any excess moisture from the alcohol or anything like that. Now, as you can see, my phone is still on, which that means the phone does not need to be cut off to do this. So that is one of the beautiful things about this type of installation. You don't really have to cut your phone off. 
Now there will be a white stone dome installation video for the S22 Ultra on the channel soon. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for that. That is a lot more complicated than this. So you'll see why I like the fact that I can use this flat screen protectors with speed on these type of cases. Now let's get our dust protectors here. And normally you can use the big one or the small ones. I prefer to go with the small ones. So we'll just peel the small one here off the bottom. Now that we've got that peeled off, we'll pick the phone up again. Try not to touch the phone too much because you don't want to get fingerprints on it and things like that. We'll go ahead and close that out. And I'm looking at this from behind the camera and I can see a few specks of dust around it. So I'm just going to go on ahead and just get up as much as I can. And like I said, you won't be doing this from behind the camera. So it won't be that difficult for you. But for me, it is just a little difficult. But we got it going. We're getting it done. That's all that matters. So now... And I think I've gotten all the dust that I can get. I'm going to go ahead and put that back right there. I'm going to lay the phone down, give it one good blow. And that's just to make sure we get all the dust off of it. Let's peel this back piece off. So we peeled the back piece off. And we're trying to peel the back piece off and try to take the whole case with it. Nope. We just want to peel the back piece off. Okay. So we peeled the back piece off of it. Now, it has indicators for top, so we'll put it on. So once again, just making sure that it's good, and let's put it on there. And then you'll just press and slide up the middle there. So just press and slide like they said. Now, we'll wait for 30 seconds. Usually, you don't have to wait a full 30 seconds. I usually will give it about maybe 5, maybe 10 seconds. But usually I'll just keep doing this for about a good 30 seconds and I'll do the same method when it comes to something like my iPhone or, you know, any other device that I use in the past or that I will use that can use this type of a screen protector. And now that that's been on there, it's been about 30 seconds or so, maybe a little bit less, but I think it's been long enough. We'll go ahead and peel up the middle here. So you'll just hold the case down or the installer tray down and peel that up. And now that that's been peeled up. We'll put that to the side along with this other trash that we have here. And you will just essentially pull this up. And that's it. That tray is done. So we'll dispose of that tray off to the side. And as you can see, your screen protector is perfectly installed nice along the sides here. Now, we do still have this extra layer here. So we'll just go ahead and peel that off. And now this is where your squeegee is going to come into play. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our squeegee. And we're going to just use it just to get a lot of that excess air out. So we're just going to push all of that excess air out of the phone and the screen protector. So we'll push it out through the bottom. And as you can see, we do have a few places where dust still got caught underneath it. Now, obviously, like I said, this was not a completely dust-free environment. So it is what it is. You deal with what you deal with. Some of it will be very noticeable like that right there. Now, I may go on ahead after the video and put the second one on just because it is a little obvious that that's going to be there. And of course, when you do this, you won't be doing it from behind the camera. So it'll be a little bit easier for you. But for measure, let's just go ahead and finish it up so you can see exactly what it's going to look like when you're done. So you're going to go on ahead and just make sure that you get all of the bubbles out, all the bubbles that you can get all the bubbles that you can out of it. That one there is just a little bit stubborn, but that's just because it looks like there's a nice chunk of dust underneath it. But for the most part, this is what it's going to look like. Now, I apologize again for the neon non-perfect installation. You know, it is what it is, but this is what it's going to look like when you put it on your phone. And like I said, you can see you got everything is pretty much perfectly lined up, symmetrical across the end. You can use cases on this. I don't have any cases in for it just yet, but once I do, I'll do a follow up just to let you guys know how it's doing. But this is going to be the Spigen Glaster Easy Fit for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. They also make it for the S22. So make sure you get this and check it out. Link down below in the description if you want to pick one up for yourself. Don't think you will be disappointed with this at all. Very thin, very minimal, good protection on your phone when it comes to your tempered glass screen protector and your flat display on your S22 Plus. You just got this phone, paid good money for it, you want to protect it. That being said, it's your guy Tech King Mike. I will catch you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for more S22 coverage. Peace.